Hey everybody, welcome. This is another Lucky44 tutorial. This is on Arma 3's uh, BTC Revive system, a third-party revive system made by Giolusto of uh, the BTC group. Um, and you can find it on Armaholic. I'll put the link in on where you can find it. And it's a neat little package. And it took me a, a couple head scratchings to get it figured out, so I thought I'd pass it on to you folks. Especially if you're like me, if you're used to Norin's Revive system or another one that works a little differently. Um, so I want to start out with sort of a graphic explanation. For the time being, ignore the stuff in pink here. Um, what we're concerned about is the blue. So we assume that, we're, we're going to assume that a player is working uh, on the blue side and the player's killed. You have two options, generally, in this system. You could be revived by a teammate, and we'll get into that later. Or, if you're unable to be revived or impatient, you can revive at the Respawn West marker, and you'll configure that name. We'll get into that when we get into the configuration, but there'll be one marker where the blue West team would respawn. If you're using mobile respawn vehicles, and one of the advantages of this system is that you can have multiple vehicles. Um, you would configure it so that they each have a specific name. And here's the trickiest part. You'd have an object, let's just call it the West Respawn object, that you'd set near the West Respawn marker where the people are going to respawn. And this object would have scroll wheel actions on it that would let you call it teleport out to your mobile respawn vehicles if they are deployed. And in short, a vehicle is considered deployed if it is not moving. Um, it doesn't have a fancy pop-up cami net over it or anything, but uh, it's just there. Um, so now the purple explanation. These are the things that if you're using mobile respawn vehicles, you need to put on the map. First of all, you've got to have a marker for each side. And one of the advantages of the BTC system is that not only can you have one player side, you could have two player sides, each have their own system, three player sides, if you had an independent and a west and an east. And I'm not sure, but I think you can have even more than three sides. Um, so the first thing each side needs is a respawn marker on the map where they will respawn. Then if you're using mobile for that side, they're going to need the respawn object, which could be a bunch of different things. I'll show you one example. And then you'll need any vehicles that you have. You can have one or more. So that's it. All right. So let's see. If you download uh, the zip file and you unzip it with BTC Revive in it, you're going to get the following things, four things. First is a sample mission file that you can run. And you'd want to drop this whole thing which has its own, it will look like this, right? You're going to drop that in with your other mission folders in your documents, not in your program files, but your documents um, where your other uh, mission files are. Um, and so you got your mission file, and then you've got an init and a description. Let's look at what you have to include in the init. There's one simple line get that right. And that is this. And it's just call compile, preprocess file, uh, quotation marks, btc revive slash btc underscore revive underscore init dot sqf. So that, that's going to call that script. That's got to go in your init um, dot exe. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. Okay. Second is the description.ext. And let's get that up here. I'm using the Arma Edit editor. Uh, that's going to look like this. That's not going to look like that. That's not going to look like that. It's going to look like that. Um, I've got the onload mission in there. But you're going to want to set the default uh, type of respawn and the respawn delay, and then this one line is going to need to be included in your description.ext. Very straightforward. I'll put it in uh, an annotation on the YouTube video. 
So those are the two things you need to get set up. And once you do that, there's one more important thing that you're going to configure. In the BTC Revive folder, there's a BTC Revive init file. And here's where you can do specific configuring to customize it to your liking. Um, everything between here and here you can customize. This is the default of what you'll get when you download it, unless he's changed it since I did this. I'm going to show you a slightly different version uh, that I've customized. Um, let's see. I've added a few more um, explanations on the, co the um, comments, the things in green here, seen here. So let's go over them. Um, the first one is the minimum time to revive that you have to wait before you could revive somebody. That's counted in seconds. Here it's set to five. The next is the maximum that after which somebody's not revivable. So you can set that. I've got it 600, so that'd be 10, sec 10 minutes. Um, the third one lets you configure who can do reviving. This is a config file uh, setup. If you set it to man, then any uh, unit, can any player unit, no, that's not even right. Any human model could do uh, the reviving. Um, the next is to disable respawn. If you want to only have it so that you could revive, you'd set that to one. Normally, if you want to be able to respawn, you'd keep it at zero. Um, next is respawn with gear. Simply zero is do not respawn with gear, and one is do respawn with gear. Next is... Uh, actives lives that is count how many put a limit to how many lives let me even write that in for you put a limit to how many lives players can have okay um, after that you have the BTC life number where you can set the number if you're giving it a limit this is where you set the limit by the way here's a trick different than some other revive systems. The limit that you put here counts both times that you revive, or sorry, times that you get revived by someone else, and times that you respawn, not just times that you respawn. So if you're revived, this counts uh, against this total. Next is black screen, button while you're unconscious. Uh, that's a simple choice. Next is the action respawn, black screen set to zero. You can choose if you want to use the action wheel or the button. That explains itself. The BTC respawn time, if you want to set a limit to how quickly somebody can res respawn, set that here. I like to set mine to 60 seconds so that people don't rush back into game. This ain't Battlefield, right? Um, or COD or you name your other fast shooter. Um, of course, if you want to make it more of that style, you can configure it down to zero or whatever. Um, next is, if you're going to use mobile respawns, you need this set to one. If you're not going to have any mobile respawns, then set it to zero. If you are going, if you want your, this is tricky, if you want your mobile respawn vehicles to respawn if they are destroyed, set this to one. If you set this to 1, then you can configure the amount of time before the vehicle respawns if it is destroyed. I'm going to set that to 30, and I'm going to set this to 1 in case my vehicles get destroyed. Okay. Um, next is, do you need a first aid kit to revive somebody? This is kind of a neat little feature using the new Arma 3 yellow revive kits. So you can say, nah, don't worry about it. Just let anybody revive anybody anytime. Or you can say either the person coming to do the revive or the unconscious person has to have a medic kit on it. Not a medic kit, sorry, a first aid kit. Um, the BTC PVP is, do you want to disable revive options for enemy playable units? Straightforward. Um, the injured marker is, do you want to show a marker on the map when there is an uh, unconscious player? And the last two are, 
where you configure the names that you're going to give the mobile respawn vehicles. So if I was going to call them just mobile one, I would write that in here instead of mobile underscore west underscore zero. You can add as many as you want separated by commas uh, if you want to add more vehicles there. And you've got east and west. You could add them, I believe, pretty sure, you could add them for independent or um, resistance and do the same thing. I'm not positive about that because I haven't played three-way TVT. Below here, you don't need to edit. And that's it. That's, those are, that's the simple script. There aren't 10,000 configurable things. Um, let's go back and have a quick look at this. Uh, so this should make sense now. You've got the, the respawn west marker. You've got some kind of object near it that will be have actions on it that will let you teleport to mobile respawn vehicles if you've got them. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, now I'm in the editor and I have placed a couple playable units here for the blue side. I've placed two vehicles here that whose names correspond with the names that I entered in the BTC revive init. So this is the name of the vehicle that has to correspond. And that's the name that will come up um, as an option, by the way. And I've got a second one here. Then uh, I've also placed a marker here uh, that is called Respawn West. And the text that it's going to see is West Respawn, strangely enough. So this is where the blue team is going to respawn. When they respawn, they'll be right beside this object. And I've made it a road cone just because I wanted to have it be something kind of, you know, not in-game so much, kind of uh, noticeable and different. I've got the road cone with the light on it. And it's important that I give it this name, BTC underscore flag underscore west. I'm sorry, I'll say that right. BTC underscore base underscore flag underscore west. So very simple. The things I need are the marker, the respawn object, and the mobile respawn units if I'm using them. So let's see how that works. Preview. I've got my frame rate set down to 15 to keep my file size small. Um, so this may be a little bit clunky looking video. Okay, so there's my objects. Here's my team, and right in front of me, between me and the road cone, is going to be the respawn marker. Um, if I get in the vehicle, there's no action to deploy it, but you see up on the right, whoops, I guess my, up on the top right of the screen, you see Mobile West is available. If I drive it, and then stop, We'll get that message again in a second. And it'll say mobile respawn available again. Let's look at the map. So you see here that both of the vehicles are deployed because they're moving. If I back up a little, mobile respawn, mobile west zero will not be deployed. There, see, it'll say that it's moving. So you could see it on the map, but you'd know it's not deployed because it's moving. Once it stops, it automatically deploys. You don't have to go through any action to deploy it. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's another important thing. Good thing I remembered this, to mention it. If you're testing single player, the respawn system will not work. So you have to have multiple clients connected to make it work. Um, the uh, so if I were to try to shoot yeah. my teammate here, sorry fella, down. and then I went to try to revive him, I don't get an action to revive because I'm in single player. That's another one of the big tricky things about this that's thrown a lot of people off. It makes it a little bit harder to test, but believe me, it's a simple system to configure and use. When you do, you'll see, uh, you know what, I'm going to add another system here and I'll set it up so that you can see what it looks like. Um, when it is working right. Okay, so now I'm in game with multiple computers connected and I'm gonna have my friend here, number two, uh, 
do a respawn and fall over dead. Oh, he fell over dead. What a terrible event. So when I go up to him, I get a scroll wheel action, as you see, to drag him. I can drag him along, and you see that I have an action there to release him. Then I have two scroll wheel options, first aid and medic. Well, I did originally two. If I, um, if I first aid him, it does a fairly fast, I'd like to be able to do a longer uh, action. And then he rolls over and he's back. Okay. Now, as I said, remember, you need to have a first aid kit either on the person who's doing the healing or he could take one off of the body of the person who's unconscious. But that's it. That's, it. that's how simple it is and a uh, pretty cool system. So I hope you'll check it out. Uh, BTC Revive by Giolusto. Ciao.